Alright, Cutlery Lover. This is the Bali song that I wanted to show you. Not exactly sure what else to say about it besides that this one has a clip that says Philippines on it. It's very stiff and I put sword oil on it so I can make it spin better. This one has a little bottle opener on the back which is pretty neat and I believe these are blood grooves. Nice design. This is about this is a 16 inch. This is probably about 5. Well, how long the blade? I'm not exactly sure how long the blade is. I'd say it's about 3.5 inches or so. A little longer. Flips smoothly. Nothing too fancy. And there's no rust on it as far as I can detect, except for probably some dirt in there that's caught it. Like the black smudges here, I can just easily wipe off. Other than that, Brent's making you. Bought this in the Batangas, Philippines, in the city, I believe, of San Santa Tomas. I can pull it up on the map here. I can pull up the map and internet. If you look at my videos, you'll see Santa Tomas is up here. Actually, not Santa Tomas. Where are you? Here's Taong. This is where I stayed. I can't find you. There we are. Batanga City. I can't find you anymore here. Batanga City. It's in somewhere in this area, Santa uh, Antonio or something. But it's very close to Batanga City, is where I got this knife. And it was in a nice little shack. Well, not really shack. It was like a parking garage and people set up markets in there. Either way, this is where I acquired this knife. And, ouch, I hit myself too hard there. Nice, heavy. I believe these are brass. And this is a type of uh, bone. I don't exactly remember what. But it's a very nice knife and it's actually straight. And when you close it, it's as straight as you possibly could get it to be. Inside. And a lot of them suggest that actually when you buy these knives, put like a very, very thin piece of leather in here. So you can keep it from making the, the dull, the edge dull. Alright, here it is.